Hey guys, so I'm back with another process video and of course, as you might know, this is the first layout I created using my first kit from my new mini kit series based on the serendipity die cuts and this there's a kit share and a process of how I put the kit together up on my channel from about a week ago if you haven't checked that out already and um, I found this picture that I want to scrapbook based on the fact that there's three donut die cuts in that die cut set so I decided to scrapbook this photo of donuts and I also have this donut paper and I had an idea in my head that I wanted to do triangles at the bottom of the page like I'm doing now and just kind of have them the photo and the cluster of the photo nestle behind them and stuff like that so I started by cutting the donut paper which I'm sorry I don't know the manufacturer of um, then I brought in the three donuts because I knew they were going to be a um, primary point I guess on this page like um design element that was necessary so I pulled them in just to have an idea of how to want to do that now then I was thinking that the pink donuts were just too much so I thought about trying out this blue paper and I have the donut die cuts nestled next to the photo and I really like that um, and then I also had that cut apart the 3x4 cut apart behind the photo on the other side and I did like that as well and I was just kind of really stuck on doing this idea because I, I had kind of been thinking about it for a long time so I'm going to keep trying it again and again um, for a long time because I was just something that I had stuck in my head so I decide I'm going to add some gesso and some mixed media and that's gonna help improve the layout kind of it will help tone down the really bright and bold pink in the that pink donut paper I also had this idea that I had to use that donut paper because it worked so well on the layout and I probably wouldn't have another chance to use it so I just kept insisting on using it and it just was not working so here I'm doing the packaging technique with the wilted violet distress oxide and the pink raspberry and the it's um what's it called cracked pistachio and I did that and then I decided it was way too much paint so yeah then I also added some blue I think it was mermaid La mermaid lagoon because um there was that blue, there were blue in the project life card but then that was way too much paint and I wasn't liking it so I cut it all apart and decided to use that mixed media part as a layer behind my photo so you're gonna see this layout take a lot of different turns so then I thought well maybe I could put the picture in the middle because I really liked how that cluster looked and then kind of have the triangular stuff on the top and bottom and see how I'm insisting on using that donut paper it's just ridiculous so I kept trying to use the donut paper I cut a little strip of it and thought um, and put it under then I thought maybe if I could, if I use this lighter shade of pink it will look better so I'm trying that again so I cut into a lot of papers guys as you can see and then I left and came back to it and um, I'm working I'm still working on that same idea of having that cluster in the center and then having those two diagonal kind of pieces at the bottom and yeah so all I know for sure the only thing that I liked was the way the donuts were placed by the photo but since that design wasn't working at the time i decided to i kind of tried out some other ideas about using the donuts like using them in a strip there like that so at this point i've kind of abandoned that triangle idea thank god because i have been working on it for like two hours at least intertwined um like maybe 10 minutes here and 10 minutes there and then i thought maybe i could do something of the sort here and have the clusters of four by four along a vertical strip on the page no not vertical yeah a vertical page so I'm adding my photo and that pink paper from the Amy Tangerine collection and um, that's going to stay there throughout the whole layout but I'm just kind of toying with this idea a bit and I kind of like it but I kind of don't so I'm just kind of I'm going with it for the time being but I'm going to end up changing it again 
So then I went, this uh, card was not in the kit, but I wanted something a bit darker and that matched the blue and that cut apart there. So I went in my stash and got that from the Amy Tangerine Better Together paper pad. So then I thought I could do two clusters of 4x4s like so. And I'm still trying to use that donut paper, but I'm just not liking it. So then I thought I could put one of these donuts over here and then the other one over there and then the, but that was just not working either. So you see me just fussing around a lot. As you can see, then I thought I could do two strips at the bottom and kind of have one of the donuts down there, but this is, is just not happening. <laughs> I don't know why I struggled so much with this layout. Um, I think it was because I tend to not, well, actually I try to scrapbook once a week because that way I can, um, it's consistent and I know when I'm scrapbooking, but if I miss a week because I've had a test or something, then the next time I go to make a layout, it's very difficult for me because um, I haven't done one in a while. Well, it's not really a while, but it's not in my usual time frame. So like the first one back is always a bit tricky. I do end up loving how this layout turned out, but getting to that point was just very, very tiring. And it, I mean, not tiring, I did enjoy the process, but it was just too long and kind of frustrating. So then I took out this, um, so I've also added a yellow card at the back. So I have the lighter blue one, the darker blue one, and a yellow one, and the photo is matted on the pink. And I'm keeping the three donuts by the side. So then I tried using that, um, strip of paper because it had all of the colors on there but that wasn't working so i decided i'm gonna try and do mixed media again but i'm going to use my watercolors that are liquid like that uh, are in a tube already and not the ones that i was using like and not use the distressings basically so i'm starting with the blue color just to bring in the blue because i have both light and dark blue so i started with adding some blue um, on the back and I'm just using my palette knife. I'm, at, I'm not adding too too much water to the paint so I can easily move it around. So I added the blue then I added a bit of of the of gesso which was white. So now there's a lot of different shades of blue there and I really like how that turned out. And then I'm trying to mix the perfect pink so I, I had to do a couple of attempts there to find it and I'm just adding a couple of rows of pink and then this gold is beautiful. It's, a, it's acrylic. This one is an acrylic paint. And it's a very beautiful gold metallic. See how it glimmers? I love it. But I end up covering it up so you can't see the glimmer. But <laughs> for future references, um, that looks really well. I really like the look of that on a page. So now I have that down. And then I'm now trying to decide do I want this horizontal, do I want it vertically, and I'm still not loving it because it was just a bit too bold. So I go over it with the gesso, and that's when the metallic gets covered up a bit, just to lighten up the colors. And then that's just not bright enough. It's a bit too dark. So I'm going to, I keep adding more gesso to kind of brighten things up to white, just add more white and also tone down the dark colors that were in the background. So I placed that there and I'm just kind of playing around with how I want to do this because I'm thinking I'll do one cluster at the bottom and then I'll do another cluster at the top was my original idea. But then again, of course, I added too much paint, so that's not going to work out, but yeah. So now I'm going through this chipboard piece and I'm pulling out a couple of... Um, of pieces that I thought I might use, so I pulled out the one that says today and the one that says love. And I'm kind of trying to work out how I want to do that top cluster, and then I'm looking at the sticker sheet. But I didn't find anything that I wanted to use, and then I'm just flipping through embellishments and stickers, and I'm trying to think of my title, so I went and got a couple different types of thickers here that I might want to use. So I pulled out these gold ones because of the gold metallic paint, but they were just too much. So I decided not to use them and instead use a white font, which you'll see in a bit. So I decided that um, here I was toying with the idea of putting the cluster in the middle to kind of um, close the gap there between the, uh, the paint. So like there's a white space between the two kind of clusters thing going on that I had there that I'm not really liking. So I'm, I'm still trying to decide what I want to do. So I pulled out 
I'm going through my little tray of die cuts and just loose embellishments. And the reason I pulled out that 2 and 3 is because um, the picture was taking on the 23rd for my sister's birthday. Which is kind of what the story is going to be about. So I thought maybe I could work make that work out. And I'm going through this chipboard piece and I'm seeing a lot of things that I might want to use. But I don't know where at this point because I still have to figure out where I want my photo cluster to go. So, yeah. I'm still thinking that the cluster is going to be at the bottom and the title will be at the top, but that's not going to be the case. So as you see, I've put down that little love chipboard piece at the bottom, and then I've also added the two little crosses to bring that same white back. And I went, I left and came back, as you can see, and I have now moved the cluster in the center just to cover that white space, and I don't know, I just liked it better. So yeah, and now I'm trying these gold letters, but I I don't like them. I spell half the title out and it's just too much. It wasn't working because I'm still trying to brighten up that background a bit. So then I decided I'm just going to use these thickers here, which are the Rockabye thickers and I love them. So my title is going to be Duncan Donuts. And then that, that love chipboard piece wasn't meant to be part of the title but since it's there and it makes sense you could also call it love dunkin donuts but yeah and then i saw those donuts on the sticker sheet and i thought it would be cool to use one of them as an o instead of the o of the letter set but i'm not going to try that out just yet and then i've also added that little uh, die cut piece that says best ever is also from the serendipity collection so that means i used four different die cuts on this page so um, the one is over there. And now I didn't have an S for donuts, so I'm kind of piecing together. I'm I'm cutting an, apart an 8 to make it look like an S, and I really like how that turned out. So now I have that green in the donut, and the, green, the kind of green in that best ever piece, and also the background is still not bright enough for me. So I pull out these watercolor sets that I have, and I'm adding some green and dabbing it up, just because I don't want it to be too bold I want to kind of blend it with the other colors and then I'm adding some yellow and I'm adding a bit of yellow and then I'm dabbing it up a bit and go so on so I just added the tiniest amount of those colors at the beginning and um, I'm gonna come back and add more I think in a bit so I decided to glue these things down because it's about time I've decided that I like how this is looking now, so I'm just going ahead and gluing um, at least the basic stuff. So because of the because of the because of the fact that this layout took a lot of turns, I was kind of hesitant to glue stuff down. So I started with just gluing the mat on the photo, which I know is going to stay there, and then I'm gluing all of these to each other, but I'm not gluing them onto the background yet. And I'm also just adding a tiniest dab of glue because I still might want to tuck things in. I might, to I want, I might want to change something. I, want, I might want to change the position of the stuff. So I'm just gluing everything to each other. And then I decide, what the heck, I'm not going to change it again. I'm just going to glue it down onto the page. But I am leaving some space on the sides so I, in order for me to be able to um, tuck things in if I want to in a later phase. So now I'm taking off the title because I decided I want to add a bit more paint. So I'm coming in with some pinks and some more green, I think, and also some more yellow. And I like how that looks a lot better. So see, if I just added the brush and I didn't dab anything, it just standed out way too much and I wanted everything to kind of blend together. So I'm dabbing a lot of what I put on there, but I do really like how it turns out. So now I'm coming back in and putting all of the little bits and pieces back onto the page. And then I decided I needed just a little bit more pink, so I went ahead and added that. And I've also added the letters back onto the page off camera because I don't think you needed to see me do that. And then I decide to try out this donut idea that I had. So um, those cl those stickers are clear, so I stuck them. I stuck one on the white cardstock, so it will look nice. <laughs> and I replaced it there, and I was not liking it at all. So. 
I'm going to kind of try the other colors, but I don't like them either. So I'm just going to go back to just having the regular O. And then I try to add this sticker to somewhere else onto the page since I've already cut it out and fussy cut it and stuff like that. But it doesn't work. There. It's not going to work either anywhere. I'm just going to put it back in the sticker sheet. So then I tried those two and three again, but I, I wasn't really liking it. And now I'm not sure what else I want to do. So I decided to glue that. Um, love piece down until I figure out what else I want to add So that's the kind of thing that I do if I don't know I don't as long as I know what I want to do I don't glue things down or I don't I Just do what I want to do, but when I'm stuck on something I move on to something else So for example if I'm stuck on how I want to proceed then I'll go ahead and glue some things down that I know won't move from where I put them. So then I did go back onto that sticker sheet and pulled out the little chevron kind of pink arrow thing. I don't know what to call it. It's not a chevron, it's just a bunch of arrows, like arrow heads. So I put that over there to bring in the pink on that side because there's pink on the donuts. So that way I have green and pink on both sides of the of the photo. And then I'm looking at the sticker sheet again, but yeah. So I did try to add that yes piece because the pink in the arrows that I added and the pink in the donut are actually different. So I thought maybe I could add that to kind of match it a bit more, but it wasn't working and I liked how it looked anyway. So now I'm kind of trying to decide where I want to add my journaling. So I'm going through this and the pinks match really nicely. So I pulled out that recap piece at the top and I'm thinking I'm gonna make another little cluster at the top of the layout there which I kind of end up regretting and you'll see in a bit I'll tell you about it in a bit when I get to that point so now I'm going through my little dish of stuff again and I'm trying to see what else I want to use so I've basically used all the die cuts that I can on this page from that set because the ones that are left are pretty themed so like there's an ice cream that's like a dark purple, there's glasses, there's cherries, and it just didn't work with this layout. So I decide I'm going to kind of commit to that recap at the top, so I put it all the way at the top. And then I'm doing my journaling in this really stacked manner, and I'm using a Settler pigment liner, by the way, in a 0.05 tip. So what I'm regretting is that I wish I had done my journaling on the whole length of the paint and closer to the cluster so it would be a bit more connected but I didn't so I guess that's it's, it's okay it still looks good and then I also I had another bit of journaling that I wanted to add so I added it under the title and I, I really like where I put that journaling but I'm not a huge fan of where I put the one at the top and then there was an issue with this journaling as well that you'll see what I did in a bit because then I decided I was going to add something more to that cluster down there um, so I had to move the journaling because it was driving me bonkers so yeah now I'm thinking that I want the, the journaling to be more integrated into the main cluster so I thought about moving that recap piece below the journaling but I didn't like that and then I pulled in the the that heart piece to kind of fill in the space between the two words of my title and then the journaling down there was really off I wanted it to be next to the heart so I used white out on the page which is something I don't normally do but I thought I'd give it a try on this one because there's a lot of mixed media so I could easily blend it into the into the mixed media part so what I did is I did that and then I added I came up back with a lot of different um, layers of watercolor on top of it to kind of help integrate it into the page and it's not a perfect match but I like how it looks I mean it's not too too bad so that's going to complete the page I also used a sharpie pen to add a border around the page just to help ground it a bit and here are some still photos so I really hope I had so much fun playing with this kit I can't wait to share my next layout I made because I do like how that one turned out and it was just so fun and inspiring and yeah so I hope you enjoyed my process if um you don't want to miss the next video and the layout share and anything in this mini kit series don't forget to subscribe and also give me a thumbs up if you like this video or leave me a comment about anything I love reading your comments so thanks for watching and I will see you next time